Hi there, it, it's really good to see you. I, I sincerely hope that you are well, that you are blessed and all those other wonderful and beautiful things. And oh yes, it is a pink shirt today. You know, I, I went to my cupboard earlier and I came across this shirt. And in fact, this is one of my oldest shirts in my cupboard. No, let me just rephrase. I think it is my oldest shirt in my cupboard. I bought this shirt, I think either when my son was just born or he was still, I mean, a toddler, one or two years old. I, I can't even remember exactly. And I mean, he's turning 16 next month, the 22nd of April. So I sincerely hope that this shirt won't be uh, the color, won't be a distraction to you because I've got some really serious points and matters that I would like to, I would like to discuss with you today. One of the questions that I get asked the most is, Leonard, how, how do you deal with disappointment and I always wonder and think do do people think that I get disappointed a lot because maybe they're thinking whenever I look in the mirror every morning he he must feel very disappointed now I'm joking I'm joking of course but but I mean this is no laughing matter disappointment is is definitely a very very serious matter it affects all of us at some stage of our lives. And that's why you should never ponder or stew on negativity. Because like any other emotion, disappointment has a spectrum. It, it has a range. And, and the secret to dealing with your disappointment is, is never to let it grow into stronger emotions like discouragement or depression. Because the longer you are stuck in it, the longer you're stuck in it, the more likely you will allow yourself to become discouraged, which is even more difficult to get through. And it doesn't stop there. Because the longer you are discouraged, the greater the chances of you getting depressed. And that is what we want to prevent. When you are struggling with the feelings and emotions of, of depression and discouragement, you should actually, what you should do is harness the power of this negative emotion. Harness it and turn it into, a posi turn it into positive emotions like determination and resilience and things like perseverance. And that is what I would like to help you with today in, in this episode. Because, you know, the easiest thing to do by far is, is to get discouraged when, you, when you've created this timelines for how your life was going to go, how you thought, how it's going to transpire. And when you compare that to the timeline, well, then you see that the things are not going exactly the way you have planned it. You've planned it out and, and you get disappointed. And for any one of us, it's easy to get discouraged in those moments. It's easy. And we get discouraged because we want to be in control. You see, when, when we get disappointed, it, it hurts. It does. And that pain, that feelings, if you are not careful, if you are not careful, that pain, it can contaminate everything within and everyone around you. And that is why you have to learn to handle your disappointment in a more effective way because it can really save you from a lot of pain, but you can turn it into a learning experience and ask yourself, how can I use what I'm going through right now to fuel my growth? So, so I want to share with you in this episode, just four tips, not a lot, four tips, things you can do to help you deal with your disappointment. And, and the first thing, the first thing you should do is accept how you feel. Disappointment hurts and that's okay. So, so often we encounter disappointments. We try to push aside our thoughts and our feelings and keep going. But this is probably, it's probably going to lead to more disappointment down the line. It's obvious. What I want you to realize is that it's okay. Sit with it for a moment. Process it. It's fine. It's not a sign of weakness. Not at all. You need, you need, you need the time to reflect, to put things into perspective for you. And secondly, I want you to remind yourself that you are not a disappointment just because you have, you have been disappointed. Get the difference? Just because you had a setback or things didn't work out the way you thought it would. Perhaps you have disappointed someone else. Either way, let me tell you, that doesn't mean that you are a disappointment or that you are a failure. Not at all. And I'm telling you today, 
If you are in that situation right now, you don't have to feel that way. You don't. You'll get through this. And it's not going to last forever. Even though it might feel that way right now. It might feel that way. The next piece of advice, just learn from it. Just learn from it. Learn from this experience. Use it to fuel your growth. You need to shift your perspective and ask yourself, how can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? And that right there, that right there, that is powerful. This should be positive thoughts, very importantly, positive feelings. Like ask yourself, what can I do differently if I ever encounter a similar situation in the future? What can I do differently? And that right there would lead you to a more positive outcome. So just learn from it. And lastly, what I would like to share with you, you, you need to understand that disappointment will happen when you are stepping outside of your comfort zone. And that is where you grow. You need to get this. Setbacks and disappointments are natural. It's natural occurrence. I am fully aware that dealing with disappointment, it can be overwhelming. And I'm not diluting that, but you don't have to let it build up and take over your life. Learn how to cope with disappointment and avoid being overrun with negative feelings. Because those negative emotions, they will inevitably, those negative emotions will inevitably, it will stop you from thinking and behaving rationally and seeing your situations in their true perspective. And that is what we want to prevent. I heard the other day some, somebody said that every disappointment is God's divine appointment. We live, I don't have to remind you, we live in a fallen world filled with disappointment and sin and people who hurt one another. I am often surprised by the amount of hate and anger in people's hearts. But to you I want to say, getting over your disappointment, it's not easy. But it's necessary for you and it's possible. This is a decision that only you can make. It's a path and it's part of a process. And if you are a believer like me, I would like to share this with you and assure you that God is never, He is never going to leave you and He's never going to forsake you. He will always but always be there for you every step of the way, every step. He is faithful to His promises. Trust Him. He is in control of your destiny, our destiny. And don't worry about what happens and how it happens. Don't worry what happens or, or how it happens. God is the one who dictates and we must just trust Him. And I believe that you will do exactly the same. Thank you so much, everybody, for once again joining me on today's episode. Now, if this episode was of value to you, can I kindly ask you, if you haven't, to please subscribe to my channel, to like this video and to share it. And leave me a comment in the comment section below. I am particularly looking forward to your comments. As you know, I do my utmost best. I go through all of them, but I do my utmost best to respond to all of them. And that way we get to know each other. Oh yeah, subscribing two things before I go. Firstly, it is absolutely free. And secondly, it is really easy. You can just click that subscriber button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And please remember to hit the all notifications and that way you will be notified and you won't miss out whenever I upload new videos. Thank you so much, everybody. So from me and my pink shirt, see you in the next episode. Stay blessed.